Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Time channel. Your video is about to start shortly. Please take this opportunity to hit the like button down below, leave some comments, tell your friends. Interaction, likes, subscriptions help my channel to grow and help me to keep producing content for yourselves. If you're new to my channel, check out the other videos that I've got. There are over 500 videos at this stage, so there should be something there for everybody. Again, video is about to start. Hit that like button down below. Hi guys. Uh, so we're going to tie a really simple pike fly tonight. Not all flies have to be complicated. This one's going to be called the One Bunch Bait Fish. Uh, now, I suppose this is an introductory or a starter type pike fly. Um, I've caught pike on all manner of simple things. Like I remember once catching, I just got craft fur delivered to me and I literally cut a strip off it, tied it to a hook. Uh, and fished with it straight away <laughs> and it caught fish so you don't have to get overly elaborate to, to fool a pike um, so we have a, a standard sort of short shank uh, hook here this one is uh, 6 -0. and I'm going to start my tying thread maybe 5 or 6 mil back from the eye uh, and I'm going to glue it on so if I just take super glue and I'm going to run the glue over what 15 mil or so of the shank and then I'm going to wrap into that while it is wet. Wrap back, wrap forward. So that will really give us a good grip on the shank of the hook. Hopefully to stop our fly from twisting on itself. So this fly is called the One Bunch Bait Fish because it's tied with one bunch of materials. So I have a, a composite material I suppose here. So what I've in here is I have some crystal hair. So I've got some silver crystal hair. I have a bunch of this uh, flashaboo, lure flash flashaboo, uh, and I have like a silver uh, connectalon uh, or pike fiber type material. So what I've done was I put equal parts of it in, and then I sort of grab it and throw it and catch it, and just keep doing that until it's evenly sort of mixed through. And what that'll also do is end up with like misaligning the tips. So we take a bunch of that. So basically half of what you intend the total fly to be uh, or thickness of the fly, density of the fly, whatever way you want to put it to, to be because we're going to double this back on itself. So take this bunch and we lay it on. Now what I'm laying it on is probably there's a little bit more than half going backwards. So say it's 60-40. And I'm tying this in at that point that's maybe, uh, as you can see, 15, 10, 15 mil back from the eye. A couple of turns across that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of our runny super glue just here at the rear of our tie-in. I'm going to pinch it so that that is laying flattened if you understand in a vertical plane and I'm going to wrap back into that a little bit and that will just help to secure that material down. So what we're going to do is just fold the front part of that bunch back. So I'm going to let a run of super glue go around that, wrap into it, cut it off and then I'm going to take a big straw and just fold this whole bunch back. Just try and make sure that it's evenly distributed around the shank. And once it's back, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch it flat. So it's flattened in a vertical plane. So once I'm happy enough with the general shape of it, I'm just going to run the glue into the front of the head. And that will set the shape for me. So if I want the fly to be higher, I'll just lift that up so that I then get that more exaggerated height and depth to the fly. 
or if I want it to be more streamlined, I just pinch it down. So what we need to do is put eyes and a head on that. So essentially that is the entire tying of that fly. But I'm just going to set that aside uh, so that my super glue gets a chance to dry. But as you can see, we have a basic bait fish profile. And also because it's completely synthetic, it's going to be fairly easy to cast. So we're going to take one that we made earlier. Set it down. And we're going to put a head on that. So you can use standard glue or whatever you have. Uh, I am going to use two part epoxy and 3D eyes. So what we're going to do is mix up a little bit of our epoxy. I'm actually going to add a little bit of glitter to the epoxy. So I have the epoxy here on a post-it pad and I'm going to take some glitter and mix it in to that while I'm mixing that together. The glitter also gives you an idea when your epoxy is really well mixed because it's evenly distributed through the whole mixture. So once it's mixed, I'm just going to take my little cocktail stick, push it against it, rotate the vise so that the epoxy joins in a blob the whole way around it. And then we're just going to push our, I'm going to use red 3D eyes for this. So I'm just going to flip it over, let it run flat, push the eye in and let it sit back a little bit. And then I'm going to set that aside uh, in a, a rotary dryer just so that the epoxy rotates and is nice and level. If you want you could do this with your vise or with your hand but uh, essentially that is the fly tide so that is the one bunch bait fish um, so uh, a really simple fly hopefully you liked what you've seen if you do uh, give us a like subscribe tell your friends and until next time tight lines and thanks for watching